The Trans Am America Bike Race kicked off June 2nd in Astoria, Oregon, with nearly 50 participants braving the 4,000-mile cross-country ride. These endurance athletes travel with just the gear on their back, and this year, the Heinemann Settlement School is opening up their doors to these cross-country cyclists. Heinemann is uh, one of the stops along the Trans America Trail uh, that, that stretches across the country from Oregon all the way to Virginia, and uh, we've, we've seen several, you know, you know, hundreds of people travel through Heinemann every year on the trail. And um, here at the Hyman Soma School, we have a lot of uh, historic cabins and buildings that we use for housing throughout the year. And this year, we decided to open up one of our buildings called the Furman Lodge um, and use it to house um, cyclists throughout the summer and as they're traveling through. And uh, because there's, there's not a lot of uh, resources here in, in Hyman for people to stop and, and places for them to stay. So we, we wanted to fill that need for the cyclists coming through our town outpatient medication-assisted treatment for addiction, adult and youth behavioral counseling, and now psychiatric services, accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard. Regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, LLC, in Pikeville and Whitesburg. Call 606-432-5660. Find us on Facebook. Currently, the contestants have covered anywhere from 400 to 1,200 miles, and several participants are estimated to reach the area next week. You know, it's very important for us uh, here at the Sonoma School to, you know, open up our doors for, for people coming through. Uh, so so part of what we're trying to do is, is really give them the information that they need um, and the resources that they need as they're coming through here to make sure that they're comfortable, uh, make sure they have uh, access to food and, and all those things and, and know where to go for that. And, and also for us specifically, access to good housing and showers and uh, washers and dryers is also really important for them to have because, you know, they're traveling. And it's also just good for us here at the Hymas Home School to uh, to make these connections with people who are coming from all across the country, sometimes internationally, and uh, it, it gives us the opportunity to, to meet their need and also let them know what we're doing here at the Hymas Home School and give, and give them the opportunity to take part in our, our events and our activities here. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.